husband does and wife who's what's going on my name is Hermzar and welcome to another reaction review of fruit basket wow a lot of development in the last episode raise your hand if you feel sorry for Akito nobody but you know what it's good that Akito is getting some growth proud of her still hate her but I'm proud of her you know you could you could hate someone but still be like wow that's some great development just because I hate Akito doesn't mean that Akito is not a great character Akito is such a well-written character man this series is such a fucking ride seems like Toru has accepted Akito and Akito has accepted it at least that's how it looked like in the ending we want to see what happens um we still gotta see what's up with cute ass Ren though but hey before we hop into this reaction if you guys haven't already please subscribe because that would help me a lot like a lot a lot so anyways my boys let's hop into this episode Episode a fruit basket. Is this Yuki talking? No, that's Yuki. 100% Yuki. Wow, word goes around fast. Easy answer. That's his daughter. <laughs> his mom. No, it's the other way around. She's mom. No, Yuki's mom. What do you mean? Well, I'm sure Kyo has his reasons for not showing up. Oh, wow. Wow, Akito been visiting? What? And Akito has such a soft face now. Wow, and very apologetic. Oh, my God. Damn. Yo, so perceptive, my waifu over here. Dude, I love me, my dark angel waifu. Ooh, I was kind of just like, what? <laughs> Oh, oh my god, Uo! Sheesh, dude, there's, oh man, there's such great girls. Akito, you lucky bitch. Here we go. Wow. What? Wow. Oh my god, so many, th things are moving so fast. <laughs> my fucking head hurts. So he plans on leaving Akito. She's starting to see, Uo is starting to see that Kureno is even thinking of Akito's well-being just in general. Him leaving the picture is for Akito. He's thinking of Akito. Oh, Kureno, you lucky bastard. I, uh, you're so, ah, uh, you're so lucky. Ah, uh, I'm so angry, man. Ah, uh, it's because you're sexy. Fuck, dude. I was watching Nagatoro today and like the, there's a guy, the fat gamer guy that one of the girls were teasing and I'm like, <laughs> that's me. Damn, Uo, so fucking great. <laughs> Back to regular. <laughs> Worse at adulting. Hey, Haru! Haru's actually my favorite character. He's become my favorite character. Mr. Horny himself! <laughs> Impressively worried. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's so random, see? Wow, and Yuki understands him. <laughs> Never mind! Ooh. Dude, Yuki's voice just got deeper, and he has that look like, BITCH! No, he already got someone. <laughs> As Haru looks at pizza. Yeah, put him in his place! Put him in his place, Yuki! <laughs> I love how, like, Kyo is, like, so angry at him, but he's complimenting him at the same time. See, you can see it. Look, look, look. He wants to be like him. There we go. The feelings. <laughs> wait, wait, is Shigure going to pay for all of that? Wait. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but this is more like, dude, this is about to be yaoi. Thank fucking God. Thank fucking God. They're telling each other how they feel. Yes. Hug him, Kyo. Hug him and then kiss his cheek. <laughs> oh, so good! So good! Oh, so someone asked me, like, how come you never get emotional? I do get emotional, but, like, there, there are some things where I'm just, like, so fucking happy for them. I'm so happy for them. But they... Dude, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like being able to break, break fucking doors and shit, I think that's pretty su superhero-like. Supernatural power. Thank you. 
Thank you! Thank you, Yuki! Go hug. Hug and kiss and then go get Toru. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. What do you have to do? Yeah, now you guys can hold hands and shit. Oh, that's what he's worried about? Kyo's even worried about his dad, who his dad is a piece of shit. Hey, man, fuck this guy. Fuck your dad, dude. Oh, nice. That's some great resolve. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Man, fuck your dad, dude. Turn into Charizard Flamethrower his ass. That sounds like it's your fault, sir. It sounds like a personal problem. See, that was him saying it to her. Yeah, it was It was the dad. It was never the mom. The mom always loved him. Things are clicking. No, it sounded like you he drove her to depression. Oh my god, Kyo seen some shit. Oh my god. Bruh. That was totally the dad's fault. Oh shit! Then bitch leave! <laughs> Damn, she just loved that drama. Good on Akito, good on Akito. Man, this episode is so like so fucking heart wrenching. It's so awesome. And just the dialogue, even though it's just Yuki just like there, just thinking to himself and just talking. The dialogue is just so goddamn impactful. It's his baby girl. Run, Yuki, run! Haru's <laughs> just like eating his fucking pizza. He just vibing. Oh my god, what an episode. Go, Kyo! Yeah! Smile, Toru! All you gotta do is smile! <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh, let's go! Let's go! Fuck, dude! Man. Good ass anime, man. <laughs> there is a lot in this episode, but it's mostly I I kind of like just seeing Akito grow up. She she needed that realization and that acceptance. Man, everyone here is so forgiving. That's what I realized. I feel like that's part of Toru's influence as well, right? Just being extremely forgiving. Um, I would man, I would just choose violence. You know how uh, how Kyo and Yuki handled their shit. That's how I would handle it. I would fight. I look up to you. I fucking hate you. A lot of things are being resolved, and it's so great. I, it was so cute how Toru ran away though. You could tell she's fucking bashful. I mean, hey, a lot has happened. Also, Akito visiting. Akito visiting. Very big ups to that. That Yuki Machi. Yuki saying, hey, I want to see you. Machi, where are you? Of course, of course. That's. I wish it was Kakeru though. Am I right? And and also Kureno and Uo get resolved. Fucking great. But um, the, on the only thing that hasn't been resolved is uh, Hanajima and me. I mean, they didn't they didn't animate me in yet. So don't worry, my time will come. Hanajima and Herms are coming soon. O overall, just a great episode. Lots of powerful emotion. The resolvement of Yuki and Kyo, right? <laughs> Them admitting to each other that they wanted to be each other uh, because they both uh, admired each other in a way. It was good, but I, I like that Yuki took that step forward. Yuki had to be the grown one to tell Kyo, wake the fuck up, baka! And then fuck Kyo's dad, dude. He, he's just demented, bro. He was the reason why his mom, like, died. That's what he has to figure out himself. He he was the one that was saying all this negativity, giving all those negative vibes. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words fucking hurt. No matter what. People don't realize that. We, we could always brush it off as, hey, this person just said this. Whatever. I don't know them. Absolutely. You know, I, I get a lot of shit comments. A lot of other YouTubers get shit comments from anonymous people. Do I brush it off? Absolutely. I've had worse people tell me that they're disappointed into me, like my family. But it still does hurt. And I think that's one thing that I hope one day the world realizes that 
words do hurt and words have a negative effect on people yo has seen some shit absolutely but i feel like what has definitely dug deeper into kyo is the words that he heard everything that people told him the actions that were done but what is the thing that he remembers more the words whether if it was from someone else or if it was his dad or, or whatever right he wasn't even sure who it was but what he remembered was the words that he heard the the, the sentence or whatever the fuck right words hurt i think that's one thing that we have to learn we are we are taught that words can never hurt us because they're just words but it words definitely have a negative impact on people you know you're always entitled to how you're going to feel about certain things you're always entitled to how you feel you know um i always try to take that approach when, when i upset someone i'm like i i apologize i understand where you're coming from i see see how you feel i i get it but when it comes to anime characters like when you <laughs> when you akito lovers like you're hurting me because you don't like akito man fuck akito but for real i'm just i'm just kidding it's all jokes here jokes words all of that hurt in a certain way especially when you're attacking that person directly personally attacking someone directly or the things around them or the work that they have produced it hurts lesson to be learned to a lot of people even something that i have to learn myself from time to time you know we all have to learn we're always going to be a student anyways guys that's my reaction review of fruit basket hopefully you guys enjoyed can't wait for the next one yeah yeah, nice. yeah. this is the end check it for sub because i really need to get that dough you won't subscribe what the hell bruh stop acting like a goddamn hoe 50k subs call me yami so i can go beyond my own limits 65 percent are not subbed and please because i know y'all are fucking with it Sheesh, sheesh. Please stop and thanks. <laughs> Stoop.